In this video guide, I'll show you some of the most common audio editing features using Audacity. Once you've mastered these techniques, you'll be on your way to creating professional sounding podcasts. OK, let's get started. Start the Audacity tool. Let's go ahead and record a welcome message. I'll click record and record my message. Welcome <coughs> to the wonderful world of podcasting. Let's play back our recording. Welcome <coughs> to the wonderful world of podcasting. Of course, I deliberately coughed during the recording so that I can show you how to trim the unwanted section out. Click the Select tool, then click and drag the mouse to select the coughing portion of the audio clip. For precise selection, let's zoom in the audio clip. Select the Zoom tool and click the audio clip to zoom in. You can further extend the selection by pushing the ends out. To zoom back out, simply press and hold down the Shift key, then click the audio clip. We can now remove the highlighted portion by pressing the Delete key. Alternatively, you can click on Edit, then Delete. Now let's take a quick listen. Welcome to the wonderful world of podcasting. Now that sounds a lot better. The next thing I'd like to show you is the Volume Envelope tool. The Envelope tool allows you to smoothly increase or decrease the volume at any point on the audio. Now why would you ever want to do this? Well, one popular use is decreasing the background music during talking and then increasing the volume again in between the voice. Let me show you what I mean. Let's open the Before Envelope project file. This project has two audio tracks. The first one is called Intro underscore Mono, which is the background music. The second track is called Welcome, which is the welcome message. Let's take a listen. Welcome to the wonderful world of podcasting. It sounds pretty good, but it would sound more professional if the volume of the background music lowers when the voice kicks in. We'll fix this using the envelope tool. Click on the envelope tool. You'll notice the dark and light gray band appears. The light grey band indicates the current volume level. Let's reduce the volume in the area where the voice is. Let's insert two envelope control points on the music track just before the start of the first portion of the voice. We'll make them just a couple of millimeters apart. You do this by clicking once for each point on the edge of the light grey band like this. Now we'll insert another two control points at the end of the voice. Now we'll squeeze the envelope between the two inner control points, effectively reducing the volume. OK, now let's take a quick listen. Welcome. To the wonderful world of podcasting. Well, that sounds a lot better. The next feature I'd like to show you is how to split a stereo clip into a mono clip. Let's go ahead and open the intro underscore stereo mp3 file. Click on the Tracks menu and select Split Stereo Track. Now we can audition each track separately by clicking the solo button and playing the clip. Once we've decided on the better sounding clip, we'll go ahead and delete the other one. Now we can export this project as an MP3 file again. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to move the audio clip on a track. This is very simple. Just click the Time Shift tool and then you can click and drag the audio clip around like this. 
Well, I think that rounds up the essential skills you'll need for recording professional quality podcasts. This brings us to the end of our presentation.